the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Celebrate the feasts of St. Philip and James the Apostles, James the brother of Jesus, cousin of Jesus, and Philip. James, too, the Bishop of Jerusalem, who died there being thrown off the temple, uh, and uh, the apostle who wrote one of the epistles in the New Testament, and Philip, the one who brought Nicodemus to Jesus, and says this in the gospel that asks Jesus to show, show the Father, and that will be enough for us in the gospel. And our Lord responds to Philip saying, if I've been with you all this time, you still do not know me. In other words, you still do not believe that I am one with the Father, that I am God, really, that I have. The, the apostles had such a hard time and hard time believing in the divinity of Jesus, that he was, that he was God, and he basically, he didn't want to come out and say it, he just showed it in his, showed it in his actions, and and in his teachings, and his wisdom, and his miracles, and his holy life. He showed the divinity of himself, and we have, of course, have a hard time seeing the divinity of, of Jesus as well in the Eucharist, and seeing the presence of God in the world, because we, through our senses, and yet we must believe, we are called to believe, and we, the faith is a gift from God, which we have to pray for, and exercise and see the face of God in the world and in, and in the Eucharist especially. And this is a, a faith that we exercise, that we practice, that we want to grow stronger and stronger. This is our, our faith so that we can see God in the world and live a supernatural life. And from there, from that faith, we grow in love for God, love that union union with God that we want to have that uh, Jesus speaks of and he's being one with the Father. That's ultimately our, our quest to be united to God more and more close to God through the Eucharist, through our prayers, through our Lady who is a uniting force to, uh, to Jesus and to the Father. And uh, so we ask for the intercessions of St. Philip and James to bring about this strong faith and this union in love for God.